I've been a fan of Fire tablets for a while now, and it's because of their value. If you want a cheap tablet for consuming content, then look no more than a Fire tablet. But one of the major flaws that these Fire tablets have that almost make them unusable is the fact that they don't have Google applications. You're forced to use the Amazon App Store on Fire OS, which doesn't have any of the Google apps, which means there's no Gmail, no Google Drive, or YouTube, which just drives me crazy. But all is not lost because you can easily install the Google Play Store on your Fire tablet and get those amazing Android applications that you want. And the best part, it only takes about five minutes. Now keep in mind, this method of installing the Google Play Store should work with all Fire tablet models. You'll just have to pick the right file for your tablet, so just make sure you know which Fire tablet model you have. Now with that in mind, let's start off with removing the SD card. If you have one inside your Fire tablet, you wanna make sure to remove it because you don't want the files you download to go into that removable storage. You want it directly on the device. Next, you're gonna go into settings, then to security and privacy, and then you're gonna select apps from unknown sources. You should see the Silk browser there right on top and then make sure that allow this source is checked to on. This will allow you to download the necessary files and install them on your Fire tablet. Now, if you're uncomfortable downloading these files and installing them onto your Fire tablet, then you probably just wanna stop the video now because that's what you're gonna to need to do to get the Google Play Store on your Fire tablet. Personally, I've been doing this method for years now and I haven't had any issues with my Fire tablets. The files I've downloaded onto my tablet haven't caused any issues with my tablet personally, but it's really up to you and how comfortable you actually feel doing that. I just wanted to make sure to put that out there. It's really up to you. Now, once that is done, you're gonna go into the Silk browser and then you're gonna to go to the website that I will link to this video. You should see the website in the description of this video. You might have to write it down somewhere and then enter it into the Silk browser because you're probably not watching this video on your Fire tablet. And this link is to a website called howtogeek.com and it's gonna provide a step-by-step -step process of how to install the Google Play Store. But I use it because they provide all the links to all the files you'll need to download and install. You're gonna download a total of four files from this website. You'll scroll down to the first file, which is the Google Account Manager. Look for your Fire tablet model and then select the file that works with your model. I have the Fire Max 11, so I'll choose the top file here. This will take you to the next page, which will allow you to download the APK. Click that, and then you should see a window that says, file might be harmful. Once again, I haven't experienced any issues with downloading these files and installing them. Of course, Amazon's gonna put these warning windows up because they don't want you to download any files and install the Google Play Store. They wanna make sure you use the Amazon App Store, but just make sure you do what you're comfortable with. If you're comfortable with it, click download anyway, and the file will begin to download. Keep in mind, we're not gonna open these files yet or install them, we're just downloading the files directly from the website. Next, you're gonna go back and scroll down to Google Services Framework, choose the file for your model, and do the same thing. Download APK, download anyway, and wait till that finishes. Now go back, and we're gonna to go to Google Play Services now. Download the file for your model. You should see here a few files to choose from. I just chose the latest file, which is at the top. Download APK, and then download anyway. We're gonna go back one more time, and now we're gonna download the Google Play Store. And this file is for all Fire tablet models, so you're not gonna go and select a specific one for your model. Choose the top file that comes up, and make sure it says APK and not bundle. Download APK, download anyway, and now all the files are downloaded on your Fire tablet. Now we're gonna go into our downloads. Click the menu button on the top right of the Silk browser, then downloads, and you should see the four files you downloaded. Now we need to install these files in a certain order. So you're gonna start with the file that says login at the end of it. This was the first file we downloaded, and now we're gonna install that one first. Click it, then install, then done. Now we're gonna click the file that ends in GSF, then install and done. Next, we're gonna install the file with GMS in it. Click it, then install, then done. And finally, the file that says vending on it. You're gonna click the file and if you see this message pop up where it says something like 
a problem parsing the package. That means we're not gonna be able to install this file. We're gonna to have to go back and download another one and install that one instead. So let's go back to the website, back to the Google Play Store download link. And now instead of that top file, we're gonna click on the next one from the top that says APK, not bundle. Download APK, download anyway, and now we're gonna go back to our downloads and install that file that we just downloaded. It should be right at the top. We're gonna to click that file, then install, and done. Now when you go back to your home screen, you're gonna see the Google Play Store right there underneath all your applications. You can click it, and you may need to log into your Google account, and now you have access to all the Google Play Store applications you're looking for, including YouTube, Google Drive, Chrome, and more. You're gonna simply click and install any application you want, and it's gonna install directly onto your Fire tablet like any other application. And these are the same Android applications you get on a regular Android tablet. Here's the YouTube application, and it works exactly as it should. Quick and fast, and you have access to all of YouTube's content. Now, if everything's working great, one thing you can do after installing YouTube is search for TechVerve. And if this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up on this video, and comment and let me know if it worked for you. This honestly fixed one of the major problems with Fire tablets for me. The Amazon App Store has quite a few applications, but not having Google Apps made it really difficult to use a Fire tablet on a daily basis, and now that's not the case. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if you wanna see more videos on tech tips, reviews, and opinions, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.